third, fourth on the depth chart to, to boom, you're, you're starting. Uh, to, to walk me through that process and what it was like to, to you know to go from you know not knowing you weren't going to play to uh, you're starting now. Uh, it was crazy. I mean, I'm like I'm not going to sugarcoat and say like it wasn't. Uh, I kind of like just like how the like vets uh, there. Uh, like kind of like talk to me and talk to all the other guys that even though you're not playing right now, I like to always stay ready. And even like my old line coach and them, uh, they just always made sure you're in tune and like in check with the game plan. Like they would say something to the star and be like, hey, like Tristan, did you make sure you got that? Like, yes, sir, I got it. And so, uh, so in that aspect, like I felt like I was ready. Uh, kind of just like I had, had an idea of what's, I, I had an idea. I knew what was going on, uh, felt comfortable in this, uh, that way. But the situation in which it happened, uh, I would have never ever expected it. It was uh, literally we got a call. We started. We had like a walkthrough like Tuesday night or something like that. Game's Thursday or the walkthrough was Monday night, wherever it was. So it's one of those days. And uh, the uh, Pat test positive for COVID. So like, hey, uh, you're backing up at center now, and we need you to start learning uh, more of this like our jumbo uh, short yards personnel stuff uh, to you know. Uh, get ready because you're going to be playing. And I was like, all right. So I literally stayed up. I learned all that. I had literally just got done with the meeting uh, with the tight ends coach, my O-line coach, at like 9 o'clock at night that night. I literally was just like talking with them, uh, going over everything, make sure I like had everything down. And uh, I, get a miss, I missed a phone call uh, from Coach Harbaugh. And he was like, and, and so he was like, call me back when you get a chance. So I mean, I was like, oh no, like I missed the headman's phone call. I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble now. So, you know, I was jokingly, but then uh, I called him. He was like, hey, uh, I don't know if you've talked to Coach D yet or anything, but uh, Matt tested positive for COVID. Uh, you're going to be starting at center. So for I went from, you know, I was backing up to playing in the short yard. I said, no, nah, forget that stuff. You're the guy now. Like, you need to get, get your mind right. You need to get ready to go. And, uh, I mean, it, it was it was crazy. You know, what I mean, I was at, at the same time I was super excited. Uh, it was funny because I was talking to Bozeman uh, during it, and I'm like, to be honest with you, I literally haven't played in a football game in over a year. To this, like the game we're about to play, like the last game I played was on Black Friday against Arkansas uh, last year. So we were supposed to play Thanksgiving, uh, and before the game, obviously it gets postponed uh, twice, and we end up playing. I think we played on Wednesday or Tuesday, and uh, it was, yeah, I mean, it was it was crazy. It was, I was in awe. Talk about that feeling, Kyle, when you're only talking to Harbaugh on the phone and he, in, in that moment where he goes, you know, you're going you're gonna to be the guy this week. Um, you know, what, what was that feeling like? Did, did, did the nerves hit you at that, at that particular moment there? You know, what was the feeling? Like? Uh, excitement. Uh, I wasn't really, like, super anxious because, like I said, like, those guys that made sure, like, I was ready and had put me like in positions and I got reps and practice and things like that. I knew uh, I was confident in the information I knew and I was confident in myself. But at that point in time, I mean, like, I, was, I mean, I was excited. I mean, that's, that's probably the best way to explain it. I was excited, uh, you know, living the dream, basically fulfilling the dream, you know. Uh, it's one thing, you know, to uh, uh, get into the NFL and it was another thing to make the 53 man. And then it was another thing to just obviously make my first career start. Uh, and the, for that, that I mean, that's crazy. Obviously, I'll always remember that, and it, it was one of the most exciting feelings ever, and it was great. What uh, you know, what was it, what was it like out there? Did it, once you got into the game, did it, did it just feel like it had your whole life? Did it feel like football, or did it feel any different? Uh, you know, like the older guys were like telling me, like, hey, like it's just football. Don't treat it like any other way. Uh, for me, I was kind of like, dude, I haven't played in a game like over a year. Uh, I mean, like, practice is practice. Like, don't get it wrong. Like, you practice hard, you go hard and things like that. But those aren't, like, live rounds. Like, if some I mess something up, like, we're going to correct it and fix it, and nobody's, like, getting, like, hurt or something bad's not happening. You know, in the game, you know, you mess something else. Like, there's a, you got 10 other guys that are depending on you on the field at that time. So, you know, live bullets are live bullets. So, you know, when I got out there, I was like, I just got to, you know, I just got to make sure I don't mess up. And... That, I mean, it was literally like, I, that was the most fun playing football I've ever had in my entire life was that one, uh, just that first like start and that feeling being on the field. Obviously, you know, we, I wanted to win, we wanted to win the game. 
and uh, it didn't go as planned, but just to be able to be out there and just play, literally. And then if I mean, like I was in Heinz Stadium playing, I mean, that was dope for me. What, the, what, what kind of feedback did you get from, from the coaches, you know, from, from that game? And when you look back on the film, do you, do you feel like uh, you know, it was a good learning experience for you? Uh, I think it was a great learning experience. Uh, for me personally, uh, I mean, obviously you look at the film, there's like a handful, even way more than a handful of plays, you know, you look at it like, dang, I wish I would have done this, I could have done that. So it was definitely like something for me to learn from. And uh, that's just kind of how the coaches approach it too, you know. Uh, I'm really appreciative of them, and obviously they gave me another, another opportunity later in the year, and uh, they trusted in me, and uh, I was super appreciative and thankful for that. What are you, what are you doing now? You know, what, what are you uh, doing right now? What are you supposed to be doing then? <laughs> uh, I'm home right now, uh, just visiting family, seeing friends. Uh, I literally haven't been home since the beginning of July, uh, since I left. Uh, this is kind of one of the first breaks I've had in a while, so I've kind of just been uh, chilling for a little bit. Uh, you know, playing some videos with friends, seeing friends and family, like I said. Uh, been out about, out and about, saying hello to everybody. Uh, so, I mean, I'm just, I'm home right now. Uh, I'll probably leave to go train here in a little bit, but as of right now, I'm just home uh, seeing family. So, do you know what your schedule looks like for, for when you, you know, start getting back into, uh, into the, the flow of it all? Uh, all I know is right now that we report, I think it's like around eight, April 19th, 20th, somewhere in there. Uh, I obviously need to start working out and start hitting things hard way before, especially if I want to, you know, get, be better than what I was at the end of last year. So, uh, I mean, I'll probably start hitting it hard later this week or probably start next week. Was it tough? Um, you know, how, I, I know it's your, your first year, but, uh, you know, how difficult was it to, to go through an NFL season and uh, especially given the, the pandemic? Uh, do, you, do you feel like, uh, I don't want to say you got robbed of, of some of the experience, but the, I mean, you feel like it made it more more difficult to uh, you know to go through it with, with all the you know the protocols and stuff. Uh, to be honest, I, I mean, I don't know because you know I listen to the vets and stuff, and they're like, "Oh, we used to do this, or it used to be like this." But like for me, like this is my first season, so this is the only thing. Like, like next year, if something's different from this year, I'm gonna be like, "Oh, that's weird." You know what I mean? Like that's just like this is basically, I guess, uh, the norm for me as of right now. Because you know it was my rookie year, and this is what we went through, and it, it's how the you know from the preseason and the regular season, all the protocols and stuff like that. And so. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind not getting my nose swabbed every single day, but you know, if it happens, I wouldn't be surprised. Did uh, you know getting this experience the last year in your rookie year? Did did it make you uh, hungry for more? Did it make you, you love it more and want to? Uh, you know, everybody wants to make it now that now that you've uh, you know you started, you've had that experience. Do you, do you love it more? Do you, do you want more? Oh man, I mean, absolutely. Like don't like don't get me wrong. Like, I love football. And like you, I really, I truly, truly enjoy playing football. Like just being around my guys, uh, coaches. Like it's really fun for me. But nothing's better than running out on the field and playing an actual game. And you know that's that's the opportunity that you know I want to put myself into. You know to be able to have that kind of trust uh, from my coach and things that they feel comfortable putting me out there to play. So uh, I feel like personally, I need to do everything I can. You know, become a better player uh, to push myself in the weight room, push myself. And with my technique and on the field and things like that, that way, you know, I can be put in that scenario where I'm back out on the field playing. What's it like to, uh, you know, being in college and going to high school, you know, you, you've uh, you know, watched some of these guys that are now your teammates on TV. Um, you know, you're out there with Des late in the season and, and obviously Lamar's out there with you guys. Uh, you know, what's it like to all of a sudden, you know, be watching some of these guys and then, and then it's, you know, you're protecting one of these guys, you know, you're, you're playing with these guys. Oh yeah, it would. Uh, it was crazy for me because I mean, I just, I mean, you look at here locally, like Brandon Williams is literally my teammate, and I think it was like my third or fourth day he was there. I joked when I was like, "Hey, I'm pretty sure you got drafted when I was like seventh or eighth grade." And I was like, "I'm pretty sure I have a picture somewhere. Or I don't even know if I do have the picture where uh, you came and you like talked to us, or whatever." And I was like, "In complete awe of you." And now it's like we're teammates. We go at each other in practice and practice and grind together, and that's that's super dope for me to be able to, you know do that like just to be able to be with guys like that you know guys that you idolize and you know you've seen throughout the years and you know now they're either your teammates or you're playing against them uh like you said i mean like we get we got des later in the season i'm just like this is des Bryant. like throw up the x you know what i mean just stuff like that it's like it's crazy to really think about i mean obviously lamar's our quarterback uh mvp last year phenomenal player and an even better person and, you know it's just you get in those kind of locker rooms and just that environment is I was in awe at first, but at the same time, you know, 
uh, your teammates. So, you know, you're in the same position as them. I mean, obviously, I'm not no MVP or anything like that. But, uh, it was, I mean, it's dope. It's, it's really, really cool. How much do you feel like when you when you look back at what you what you did here? Um, how much how much credit is uh, do you give to you know the, the program here? You know, Coach Roderick, uh, you know the, the the town, the community, you know, and, and this Web City football program. How much how much credit do you give that for uh, getting where you are today? Oh, big credit. I mean, this is where I'm from. This is literally my roots. Uh, this is where I grew up at. Uh, literally. You know, everybody that's here, anybody that knows me, definitely helped raise me or help uh, help me become the man that I am today. Uh, I mean, even just talking just from like a football and just growing up here uh, and just like in this environment, having Coach Rod as my coach, basically my entire life just with playing with Tyson and stuff like that. Uh, I've carried that to Mizzou and I've carried it even now. It's like, you have to work hard. I mean, you have to work for everything. Nothing's given to you. Uh, and my, I guess my like, uh, my personal thing is like when I'm playing like on the field, it's like to play super, super hard, always like go until you literally can't go anymore. And I mean, that was instilled in here, instilled in me when I got here. Not even when I got here, but when I started playing here. And uh, that's something I carry with me, for, I'll always carry with me forever. Was there a moment when you were out there where, where you know, you, you, you took a second, honestly, and, and, and looked around and thought, damn, like this is Heinz? Like, you know, this is, or was it, was it all, was, was your mind all wrapped up in the game the whole time, or, or were you able to, you know, take a breath and, and go, damn, this is cool? Oh no, I, yeah, I definitely, I definitely had those moments. I mean, just like with Orlando, Orlando came up to me and was like, bro, like enjoy it, man. Like you only make your first NFL start once. Like there's a lifetime opportunity. Like enjoy the moment. And I remember, uh, I mean, just pregame. I mean, we don't, we they didn't even have fans, but just like pregame, right before national anthem, you know, you're just looking around, and just like. Dang, like I'm getting ready to play like in the stadium. Like this is this is unreal. This is everything I like could I could even even imagine. Uh, I mean I joke, I literally joke me and Coach Rod joke all the time. I mean you literally look at like eight, seven years ago, wherever it was, I looked at, I looked Coach Rod in the face like, Hey, like, I'm gonna be a swimmer, I'm not playing ball. And uh, you look at it now and you know, I made two NFL starts this last year and now it's like I would have never you could have told me that I was gonna be in the NFL when I was 13 years old, and I would have told you that you don't know what you're talking about. So I mean, uh, to be out here, just uh, not even be out, be out there, and just living the dream. You know, uh, playing in the NFL, like I could have. It's everything I've ever hoped for and more. Do you? Uh, how much does it drive you to the thought of getting back out there when when it's actual? You know, 80,000 80, people screaming. And does, does it drive you to? Uh, the thought that you could be out there, you know, when fans can actually be in there to, to, to play in that type of atmosphere? Uh, I wouldn't say that, like, drives me, but it's an exciting thing to think about. Like, you say that, like, I mean, like, I played Alabama, I played at Georgia, uh, I played all these big stadiums in college, and, uh, I mean, those, the loud stadiums, those, I mean, without doubt, are the most fun ones. So, you know, you get, I'm assuming, you know, you play in the league, especially, I mean, Buffalo was a super, super loud game. And, you know, that Pittsburgh and the Baltimore rivalry, I know those games are super loud and fun. So, you know, uh, just to be able to be a part of those and be able to, like, witness everything, I know that I'll, it'll be an absolute blast.